This week, we're traveling from Matinicus Island south to the basin in Costco Bay, a magical saltwater lake nestled in a nature preserve that's part of the main island trail. A 375-mile water trail connecting over 240 wild islands and mainland sites in Maine. A collection of private owners, conservation organizations, and government agencies allow public access to their pristine land for sheer enjoyment of Maine's unspoiled natural beauty. And boy, are we ever grateful for their generosity and for the opportunity to explore this hidden gem, our last stop in Maine. I'm Kristen, this is Fabio, and this is our dog Yoda. We sold our home last year and moved aboard our Seawind 1600 catamaran Wanderlust. Over the past year, we've sailed the waters of South Florida, the Keys, and the Bahamas, shaking down our new boat. We're now setting off on our journey to harbors unknown, exploring the world and connecting with people and places through the local cuisine. Subscribe now to join our voyage. Morning fog in Maine is kind of like peanut butter and jelly. It's a package deal. We've become more comfortable navigating in the fog, so we left Matinicus headed south for Casco Bay. We skipped by Casco Bay on our way north due to weather, so we were looking forward to exploring this unspoiled stretch of islands. I've been acting like a wild man Sleeping like a child So luminous and vibrant I'm always in So today we went from Matinicus Island to Booth Bay Harbor. It was probably about a 40 nautical mile trip. We had originally wanted to go to Christmas Cove, but it was full. So we came up on over to Booth Bay Harbor. Looks like a super cute town. Today we did have a little bit, 12 knots of wind at some point, but really for the most part, there wasn't much wind at all. And so we motored most of the way and it was a nice trip overall. I mean, kind of cold. We did see quite a few dolphins, but they are shy. It's so hard to capture them on camera, but we're happy to be here and to continue making our way south. The basin on the New Meadows River in Casco Bay is known as the ultimate safe harbor, a magical lake enshrouded by a thick forest. The entrance is narrow and littered with lobster pots, so we took it slow and carefully navigated through the minefield to a protected anchorage. We left Booth Bay Harbor this morning and went about 25 nautical miles and now we're in a beautiful kind of hurricane hole called the Basin. It's like a lake. It's so beautiful. It's just surrounded 
by woods and it's so calm and serene. There are tons of birds flying around. We didn't have a chance to explore because it did rain this afternoon, but tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful. So we're looking forward to taking a dinghy ride. There's a couple of hikes nearby and it just looks like an amazing place to relax and explore for a bit. It has been just over a year since we moved aboard Wanderlust. I am so grateful we dove into this lifestyle. It's not without challenges or discomfort, but those moments make you appreciate everything just a bit more. This is our last stop in Maine, so we're treasuring each and every moment in this blissful place. the sunset light casting everything in gold. Water so still, it's like a mirror reflecting the world back into your eyes. Dew glistening in the morning sun. Fish breaking the water's surface in search of a meal. These blissful moments allow time to reflect on what really matters to you. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. The Main Island Trail Association, or MIDA, is dedicated to the protection and enjoyment of the wild islands of coastal Maine, and its members act as stewards and caretakers of the MIDA land. This form of privatization where the owners see themselves as guardians of the land and take pride in sharing its beauty with others is heartwarming and vastly different from what we've seen in other areas of New England. They recognize the exceptional beauty the pristine simplicity of Maine's wild coast and honor it by sharing it with others who appreciate its essence. Nice, look at this tray, oh my God. <laughs> oh, the water? Uh, well, the tree behind it is wet. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to be here that long. There's like very shiny rock here. These very sparkly rocks. Yeah, with the quartz side. Yeah. See? Wow. So pretty. In my former rock collecting life. Been like all over this. <laughs> Good girl. There she is. Good girl, Mama. Oh, perfect. There was a coral on a branch, and the shadow was there, and the other was like... <laughs> <laughs> wow. The mark. Mm. There's the also path. a little sign down there on one of the trees, but... Okay. Yeah. So, you can cross here or go back there and see. Probably, I think across here, right? Yeah, because I think that's the that's the end of it. That's our bow out there. Yeah. <clears throat> 
The basin preserve adjacent to the lake is part of the Main Island Trail, a 375-mile water trail extending the length of the Maine coast, connecting over 240 wild islands and mainland sites open for day use or overnight camping. There are no fees, no reservations, just a request to leave no trace and enjoy the land in a respectful way. Trail properties are owned by an assortment of private landowners, conservation organizations, and federal, state, and municipal agencies, all of whom generously make their land available to visitors in exchange for the promise of respectful use and careful stewardship. Look, evidence of fall. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep, I can see some yellow trees. You leave them there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And little baby Christmas trees. <laughs> The Basin Preserve is home to extensive pitch pine woodlands, a hardy tree with the ability to persist in harsh growing conditions of acidic, thin soil on exposed granite-rich tops. They provide habitat and food for many wildlife species. Oh my god, it's a car. <laughs> Let's go for a drive. Somebody shot it. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. Cool. Maybe it can be fixed. <laughs> no. What model is this? Oh, look at the great stainless steel. Oh wow. They don't make this stuff anymore. <laughs> in October 2006, an anonymous donor gave the Nature Conservancy 1,910 acres in Pittsburgh, Maine, including more than four miles of coastline surrounding the basin, making it the Conservancy's largest coastal preserve in Maine and one of its most valuable individual land gifts. The acquisition of the Basin Preserve was a substantial addition to existing protected lands and waters in the Kennebec Estuary, the largest tidal estuary on the east coast north of the Hudson River. Conservation priorities in the estuary include habitat for migratory fish, undeveloped shoreline for bald eagle nesting and roosting, intact beaches and dunes, freshwater and saltwater tidal marshes, and the upland forests that buffer these shoreline ecosystems and provide habitat for a variety of birds, mammals, and more. That's cool. Who's fly fishing? Yeah. That's a skill. Yeah, okay. Wow.
I think so, right? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Wait, Yoda, wait, wait.